Why are human-looking robots becoming so popular? You've likely seen them in viral videos and news reports. Humanoid robots like Sophia, Erica and Asuna conversing, expressing emotions in charming crowds. But why do we find these futuristic figures so captivating? Humanoid robots are designed to resemble and mimic humans in their physicality and behaviours, built to walk, talk and gesture like people. They tap into our innate tendency to anthropomorphize, to assign human-like characteristics and behaviours to non-human entities. And the more human-like the robot appears, the more we unconsciously respond socially to it. Research reveals that most people actually feel more comfortable and at ease interacting with humanoid robots compared to machines with more mechanical or abstract designs. A study by scientists at Washington State University found that participants had the most positive emotional responses and satisfaction when conversing with female gendered robots that had human-like faces. This preference is tied to long-held gender biases and stereotypes about service roles. The researchers explain that qualities like being nurturing, helpful and non-threatening have become associated with women throughout societal conditioning. So when a humanoid robot is assisting us, we unconsciously transfer those assumptions onto it, feeling that the interaction flows more naturally. Additionally, human-like visual features and vocal patterns make applying social scripts from human interactions feel more instinctive. With lifelike faces and expressive voices, we can read the facial cues and emotional tones we would expect from a person, making the exchange feel familiar. The scientists concluded that the more human-like a robot appears, the more we tend to perceive it as predictable, controllable and easy to interact with. This social dynamic also explains why domestic helper robots and personal assistants like Alexa lean towards females in their visual design and vocal gender presentation. We associate the role more with traditional female competencies. However, you see the opposite gender preferences for robot security guards, protectors and authoritative roles. Matching sturdy masculine frames with those functions feels intuitively more appropriate according to social norms. The blending of human attributes and machine capabilities is still evolving, but our responses hint at an innate desire for relationships that traverse the organic and synthetic in new ways that maximize both the human and the technological. Not only are humanoid robots perceived as more approachable and congenial, but research indicates we actually feel more in control and empowered interacting with them compared to abstract machines. Scientists suggest that the familiar physicality and lifelike social cues emitted by humanoids lead our brains to unconsciously apply the scripts and expectations from our human interactions. We tend to find humanoids more predictable, understandable and straightforward to communicate and cooperate with. And if you want to learn more about the best humanoid marvel, then do watch the video we specifically made on a mecha robot. Coming back, for example, imagine you entered an unfamiliar setting and were faced with either a bland metal box rolling towards you or a smiling human-like robot that waved and greeted you. Without considering it consciously, you would likely feel more at ease with the one over the other. The human brain is wired to rapidly interpret facial expressions, gestures, eye contact and make social judgments. So when those signals are present, we relax into habitual behaviours, even if on an intellectual level we know the entity doesn't experience real emotions. This effect translates into multiple advantages that especially come into play when replacing roles previously held by humans. For doctors, receptionists, personal assistants and therapists transitioning to robotic solutions, test subjects consistently rate humanoid versions higher in trustworthiness, likability and competence over their more mechanical-looking counterparts. In fact, a fascinating and growing application area for human-like robots is providing mental health support and treatment, both supplementing human providers and serving needs that otherwise go unaddressed. Surveys indicate people are remarkably open to confiding in robot counsellors and therapists over professionals. 68% said that they would prefer telling a robot over their manager about work-related stress and anxiety. Why such willingness to be so vulnerable with inhuman devices? Experts suggest that for issues carrying a stigma, fear of judgment from others lead us to value complete confidentiality and impartial reactions. Voice interaction removes appearance bias while avoiding eye contact may prompt more unfiltered honesty. And there is some evidence supporting that theory from past research. Additionally, humanoid robots present a less complex social cues for certain groups to manage. For individuals on the autism spectrum who can find human interaction overwhelming at times, 
Robots with simplified and predictable expressiveness provide a bridge to practicing engagement. Studies of autistic children interacting with human-like robots demonstrate the increased focus, interest, and spontaneous copying of the robot's gestures and behaviors where they previously struggled. This effect delights families whose kids shut themselves away for hour-long therapy sessions with the robots but resist traditional treatment. Findings like these inspire scientists to dream of a future augmented by artificial helpers tailored to each condition, which can make gaining skills rewarding. Of course, most remain cautious about overestimating robot capabilities or attaching unrealistic emotions to them. The charm and wizardry of cyberhumans like Sophia, who joke about destroying humankind, make for great media hype, but they remain driven by code rather than consciousness and have no inner life independent of their programming. We relate to humanoids that often say more about human nature and our intrinsic need for community than technological achievement. We are social creatures, captivated by simulations of ourselves. Humanoid robots allow us to safely explore relationship frontiers, both literal and metaphorical, that challenge assumptions yet fulfill our desire for connections that affirm our experiences. Right now, humanoids specialize in well-defined, repetitive tasks in limited environments. But the rapid evolution of emotional intelligence, empathy algorithms, and intuitive motion prediction means soon they will permeate our public and private spheres. As we welcome them into our new domains like healthcare and education, their familiar faces promise to smooth transitions, difficult for both wary humans and glitch-prone early models. Perhaps soon, on morning commutes, it will feel perfectly normal to chat about our dreams with a seated human-like robot friend allowing technology to expand what humanity means rather than decrease it. However, in our eagerness to welcome human-like helpers, experts warn we must temper anthropomorphizing. Ascribing human emotions or motivations to inanimate objects can lead us to miscalculate abilities. We want to benefit from humanoid interfaces without expecting true artificial consciousness. After all, robots remain driven by code, not spirit. Keeping reasonable expectations in check allows us to maximize opportunities while planning for breakdowns. Going forward, we're likely to see ever more blended human-robotic partnerships across medicine, retail, data analysis, and creative arts. Our fascination with cyber replicas unveils that humanity has always sought connection with reflections of itself as a conduit to understanding. So, while future robots will never perfectly imitate humans, through them we continue to progress to uncover our best selves.